So my friends. What's everyone doing today? Let me turn down the audio a little bit. Ash in here tends to be a little bit loud in my ear. Let me go over someplace where I've got oxygen too. We'll get started here in a minute. Try to figure out what I'm doing on this planet. It's been a minute or two. So I gotta think about uh, what's going on. Ivy, how you doing? Jeff, Wispo, Arctic, what's going on, people? How's everyone doing this evening? Get a little bit of coffee. Donaldson, what's going on? You brought the heater? Where's the outlet? Right. You gotta plug into a battery, man. French toast. Waffles are always good. French toast. French toast. French toast sounds pretty good. I haven't had waffles in. I can't tell you how many years. It's been years since I've had waffles. Years and years since I've had waffles. Just waiting for the inevitable search and rescue mission on Glacial? Yeah, not, not really that much anymore, you know? Those are the bygone days. Can't get lost anymore. Can't run out of oxygen anymore. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they have uh, successfully gotten rid of all hazards. Getting stuff done on your No Man's Sky for a while? Cool, man. I haven't played No Man's Sky in a while. I haven't played No Man's Sky in a long time. It was just hard. You know, the. I was playing No Man's Sky up until what update? I don't remember what update it was. And I just got tired of every up every update that they were doing, like wound up killing somebody and you know, some resource that you got and half your resources went wonky or they made some massive change or something. It was just like, I ah, too tired to keep up with this stuff. But I I mean No Man's Sky's fun. I I have to say the story was really Decent. Ooh. Man, I apologize for yawning in your ear there. Um, the story, I, I won't say really good. It was decent. I, You know, this whole <laughs> static garbage stuff left and right. Michael H., what's going on? I, I thought that was kind of corny. But, you know, overall, it was a pretty decent storyline. And then you finally find out the big hulaboo and at the end and and go on. Jeff, you, keep, you want me to keep going back to Planet Crafter? You keep telling me every time you're on Planet Crafter had an update. <laughs> God, there's so many things I need to do. I've been playing with Timberborn, uh, the early access, just to try to wrap my head around the new stuff and then get some videos out for that. I've got some planned videos I need to get out for Astroneer. I've got some planned videos I need to get out for um, Valheim. And um, I just signed up for the... What was it called? It's not Robin Hood. It's, um... Oh, God. I gotta look at my desktop. I have the icon on my desktop. It is... Let me sort by date, since there's a million things on my desktop. Oh, yeah. The Robin Hood Sherwood Builders Playtest. I want to give that a go. Cat B told me it's kind of like... Red Dead Redemption. I, I don't know... If she's true or not, if that's right or not. Need to play some Flotsam. Did they put out a new update for Flotsam? Let's get started, by the way. Let's flip over. I keep my eye on Flotsam. 
All right, last we were here. Now, if you guys have been watching the series at all, last time we were here, we uh, put some extractors on this planet. So I've got three. I've got one for hematite, one for ammonium, and then also one for um, titanium. And I think they're all filled up. Michael H, thanks for the 300 bits. Appreciate that. It's very kind of you, sir. So I we got to go back and and look at that and and see what's going on. I believe I cleared a a path this way, a drivable path. Let me just make sure that I did. For the most part, I did. Let me just clean up the rest of it here. Um, yeah, just just do one of these things and probably with this. I didn't want to flatten that much because, not because of the resources, but because I, all the tethers would fall off. And then I definitely don't want to flatten here because I don't want to pick up a bunch of resources. But this, I think, yeah, this is totally filled up. I need to empty this one out. And so let me go. You know what I should do is, I think today, let's get to the goal of nanocarbon. I think nanocarbon... Not for the RTG, but for the large... Where's the large at? The large resource container. Yeah, one titanium, one glass, one nanocarbon alloy. So let's see if we can start pumping out some nanocarbon to get some large uh, canisters. I'll have to bring down an arm or something like that to put it into the canister. But I think the canister is going to, the large canister is going to be so much better because these are, these are already filled. I don't know how much of each resource I'm going to need. I'm probably thinking overkill. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I was playing, um, Timberborn today and I, <laughs> I wound up killing my colony twice. <laughs> I was like, all right, so much for you guys. <laughs> Pixel, what's going on? This might be a little tough to go down. This ramp might be a little tough to go down. I might have to smoothen this ramp out a little bit or come down at a different angle or something to get the vehicle down there. But, all right, let's 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 work on... See, I've got a medium canister here. Let's, let's take this medium canister down to the titanium. I have another medium canister here. Let's go flip out the hematite. And I'll bring those back to the main base because I'm sure I'm going to need it there. Ammonium. Oh, uh, you know what? I really want ammonium back at the main base. What does it take to make a medium canister? I thought it was simple, right? Glass and plastic. Uh, I don't have any plastic here. I never thought of putting a canister on your drill car. <laughs> uh, always use storage silos. Yeah, well, I mean, that's okay. It, it's a little bit faster doing it this way. Okay, I, I, in order to do that, I'm going to have to spin up. Got a chem lab here, and I don't have what I need for a chem lab here. All right, let me go back and get some more canisters back at the main base. Yeah, let's let's do that before I I go back. So let let me just fly over there. Well, you know what? First of all, here, let me do this. Let me check the ammonium. If the ammonium is filled, I have two canisters. So if the ammonium and the hematite one are filled, let me let me flip those two out, and then I'll come back for the titanium. I'll, I'll get some more, and I'll come back for the titanium. Again, I I don't know. Yeah, this one's not even. It's only got 13 in it. Okay, so that's that's not a concern right now. But let me look at the ammonium. Small batteries or medium batteries? Um, didn't they change the flow rate on small batteries? I used to say small batteries all the time. But I thought they changed the flow rate on it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. 
This has 26, but you know what? I'm gonna take this anyways. And let me go get the titanium. So to answer your question, I don't know. I need to go do the math on all that stuff again. I am I, I am planning on doing remaking all the tutorials before they come out with the Switch release. Uh, just because the last time I did tutorials was what, two years ago? So it's time to redo all the tutorials and show all the different ways to do stuff and and that means I need to get new calculations. I need to do new calculations on stuff. Uh, I was gonna take the vehicle down here. And I like the idea of being able to drive down, but the problem is... My ramp is not that great. So let me fix my ramp really fast. Move this auto arm out of the way. I thought it was... I, w I don't want to say the last update, but I thought that... The power update, they wound up changing the, the the throughput on the, oops, on the small battery. I don't know, I might be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time I was wrong. Definitely not going to be the last time I was wrong. Alright, that's kind of steep. I think it's doable, but I think it's pretty steep. Question is not getting down, it's getting back up again. But it should be able to get up just fine. Recently started uh, Ashen here since I found it on Game Pass and your videos have been very helpful. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I thought I did really good tutorials, or at least decent tutorials, enough that people have commented a lot of times that they like them. And I've, I've had recently a lot of people ask for updated tutorials. So I think I'm going to do that. I mean, there's so many things that you could do with automation and so many different ways that you could do things. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to maybe to redo some things. I'm just going to unplug this for a second. Let's put this on. There we go. All right, and take this bad boy with me. Timothy, how you doing? I'm glad people are still interested in playing Astroneer. I, you know, there's a lot of negativity around Astroneer because of the lack of, well, perceived content. I mean, System Era has put out the content that they've wanted to put out, but, you know, because the community who loves Astroneer so much wants to see so much more that I think it's a, it's a little frustrating when they, they're not getting what they want. And I had an interesting conversation with Joe the last live stream that I did. I was doing the new farm uh, limited time event. And Joe came on and we talked for about half an hour. And uh, had a really good conversation about Ashtonir. And we didn't really touch on a lot of new stuff. I, You know, when he comes on like that, I don't like to try to hit him up for, you know, what's going on, what are you doing? Because he's just not going to tell me, number one. Um... But two, I, I, you know, maybe, maybe kind of like ekes out a little bit of things. But, you know, this idea of the new lore that they're going to be coming out with and the stuff that they're going to be doing around the Space Snail, which is probably going to have lore associated to it as well. I thought that was all kind of fascinating to, you know, to... We didn't really touch on anything new, but um, to just kind of, you know get some of his insight on though, though like I said there was really no there was no spoilers he didn't give away any leaks I <laughs> can't spill the leaks yet I don't <laughs> he keeps them he he likes I, you could tell that he really enjoys <laughs> leaking the content <laughs> and he's gotten so good at it that you know he drags it out <laughs> he really does he drags it out 
They'd be like, okay, we're going to be leaking something, and then, then, you know, you won't hear about it for, like, I don't know, 40 minutes or something. I have no idea why this tether is here. I think for people who have, you know, thoroughly explored everything. Oh, that's why that tether's there. You know, there's, there's this incredible desire to have more and do more, to be on other planets and, and all of that stuff. And they're, they're not a no man's sky. They, they're not procedurally generated. Well, I take that back. Their, their solar system is not procedurally generated. Um, and they, you know, they didn't really have any intent in going beyond the planets in this solar system. I, I want to say in this release, I have no idea if they're going to do an Astroneer 2. I I would really love to hear it. I mean, eventually they're going to wind up and tell us what they're doing next. But I'd really love to hear that they're doing an Astroneer 2. And to be honest with you, I would love to hear that they're only focused on PC. And I know everybody who's got Xbox and all that stuff is going to be like, What? <laughs> But I think that there's been so many challenges for them to be able to build a system that is so cross-platform compatible. Like, you know, you have to go back in like the, the early access days when the planets were so much larger. They were huge. Weather and, uh, you know, more dangerous creatures and stuff like that. So I, you know... All of that was to reduce whatever issues that they had to the, so they can play well on the consoles and stuff. So I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they've learned a lot, right? Because I think as a while they were in the gaming industry, you know, the founders were both artists and they were in the industry, and they did get some seasoned developers. But I don't, you know, I don't know how seasoned, right? Maybe there was some um, some fundamental problems that they encountered in code. I have no idea. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna need some storages here. I have a storage here, right? Yes. Let's fry up these resources here. I'm speculating. I'm just absolutely speculating. Let's put this here. Great, let's process all of this titanium down. Uh, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. And unfortunately, that is not going to want to do either. Let me wait for this to be processed at one time here. Flip this around so it transfers back over. Thank you. That's what I want. Okay, this will work now. There we go. Next thing, consoles came out. So should be able to do more now? Yeah, that that would be really interesting to see if they can wind up doing some more. I am going to build a little bit of ammonium. I have our hydrazine. I have two. But I, 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 it's going on. I feel like they're getting the future updates done other than the snail update in advance is I feel like that getting the future updates done other than the snail update in advance is dangerous. What what do you mean by that? I, I'm not I'm not following that. What is dangerous? Let's work on nanocarbon. What do I need to get for nanocarbon? I think I have everything, but let me just see. Helium, steel, titanium alloy. It's been a while. Titanium alloy, graphene, nitrogen, titanium. Um, graphite is something that we don't have a lot of. So, let's go get some soil. Let's leave this here. 
Just come on. I need to pick that up. My backpack's full? Okay, fine. Show be it. More work at once. Well, if you listen to Joe in his last live stream, you know, they talked about that they really have like five teams working on Ashtonir related stuff. So there's there's five things being coded for Ashtonir. I won't say at any given point in time, but just right now there currently is. Or was, I don't know, if, you know, they, they just finished the update, so, you know, maybe that number has changed. But, you know, so that's a lot of resources dedicated to, to Ashtonir. And I'm just thinking, you know, as a develop now I do business applications. I don't do games. But as a developer, I'm just thinking, wow, man, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of man hours being dedicated. So I'm hoping it's, you know, significant. Whatever it is. Okay, we're done. I'm going to have to convert all my production from soil, but right now we're not doing that. We're not doing everything from soil. I appreciate all you guys being here. Thank you so much. Love Ashner. Take me a long time to get tired of it. I I hear you. I hear you. I've, I've been playing... God, how many hours have I been playing? Let me look. Let me look how many hours I've been playing. Because it's been a lot. It's, it's like no joke. It's I think it's still top of my list. So C Steam says 1,800 hours. It's almost 1,900. It's 1,899. So 1,900 hours. That's a little bit. That's, that's a little bit. All right, let's get some graphite going. Graphite is another thing that we need to set up. Let's let's get an extractor built because I have a I already have a wind turbine for it. We have a battery for the wind turbine, good. And we're gonna need a platform or two, but let's let's get an extractor going. Uh, rubber tungsten carbide steel exo chip. Rubber. Rubber. I have a rubber here. Rubber, tungsten carbide. Oh, I don't have any copper? Oh, I do. Good. Oh, tungsten carbide is not copper. Anyways, it's tungsten and carbon. There's a carbon. There's a tungsten. Let's get the tungsten carbide going. Tungsten carbide. Exo chip and what? Exo chip and uh, steel, right? Steel. Uh, did I bring back the hematite with me? No, I didn't. Do I have a steel? Tell me that's a steel. Ha 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 Yes. Yes. Never got into Terraria. I got into Terraria a little bit when my kids were into it. I, I played with them for a little bit with it. It's fun. It's, it's an interesting game. Ready for New World in one week? Oh, man. I'm... I'm so stoked for new world I am new world is going to be my world um, I will probably be playing it almost exclusively I, I hate to say it but you know I, I'll probably get really sucked into new world I'm, I'm not gonna try to leave it for anything else I'm, I'm hoping to get, you know, some other things done, but I'm probably going to be putting a lot, a lot of time into it. I've been looking for an MMO that would, like, drag me back to the MMO, MMO world. New World looks like a massive snooze fest? How so? How so is it a massive snooze fest? I play co-op with me and my friends, so uh, 
love it so it never gets old? Right. Totally agree. That's a good way to play it. As always. New World is uh, an MMO. Massive multiplayer online. Fantasy related. Okay, there's the graphene. Titanium alloy, uh, a little titanium. I have a piece of titanium laying around here. I just saw it. It's like... There it is. It looked like all the worst parts of MMOs have moved in the past. Spending several hours trying to get a single hit on a single mob to progress the quest. Uh... I don't, I don't know that I felt that. I, you know, it feels like, to me, it feels like any other survival game out there. To be honest with you. Oh, man. They're gonna want steel, and I don't have any hematite here with me. Nope. We need to go back and get whatever hematite is available. So let's bring this back. I need an A, a medium A. Dang it. You know, but I'm not trying to convince you. E each to their own, right? My thing is, whatever gets you excited about playing video games. Let's take this with me. I'm going to leave this alloy right here. And I have a soil. Take that with me. DBA, what's up? MMOs are good if you have a good guild or, or good people to play with. Yeah. Should I trade for some? I, I could trade for some. I, I do have the trade platform. And I do have enough scrap. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll trade for some. You're right. Even though I have a big thing sitting over there. <laughs> There's a ton of it sitting over there. I guess I'm just really cheap with my scrap. <laughs> that, I think that's it. I'm just really cheap with my scrap. Man, I don't, I don't like to give my scrap away for anything. You're solely responsible for at least half of the games I bought in the last two years. Am, am I... I'm, you're saying I'm responsible. <laughs> Kev, what's going on? Whenever I see dynamite, I get flashbacks from when I accidentally blew up my entire base. No doubt, dog meat. <laughs> you are you are so right with that. There has been so many accidents. Try not to look back at those times. <laughs> try try not to think back at those times. Oh. Go ahead and pick some of this up. I need a steel. Get a little steel created here. Uh, carbon. Do I have any more carbon laying around? Right there. And... Oh, I have to process this. That would help. Dang it. Ugh. Grab the wrong one. Put this over here. Good, this is empty. That can come back with me. Take this. Make a piece of steel. Did I move this? Huh. Why did I move that? Let me have my uh, titanium alloy. There's no ocean space. <laughs> what happened to the massive base from Halloween? The Kalidor base? Is that the one you're talking about? Mm. 
Do I have helium here? I've got to have helium here, right? What is this, argon? Uh, I know I have helium being made. I don't have helium here, though. I only I used it up. Maybe I only brought a little bit with me. Seems like I have... No more hee-hee gas. Oh, man. Uh, that sucks, cheese. We gotta make a pit stop. Uh, we'll do it on the way back. We'll do it on the way back. How many how many trips do I have? I have 12 launches. We'll do it on the way back. We'll get hee hee gas on the way back. And let me just take this. Since I don't have any free silos. I should have brought that other silo back with me, but you know, I don't think I don't use my brain. <laughs> I really don't. I think my brain has been overworked. It's been taxed, so I try not to use it that much anymore. One of the things going on with No Man's Sky is there is now settlements. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that the whole settlement thing got released. I'm, I'm completely aware of that. Okay, we have a we have a battery. We have we need a small platform. We need a small platform for the battery. Wrong one. Okay. Uh, battery, small platform, medium platform for the wind, extractor. That's the combo. And I was going to put that where? What was I going to do with that? Graphene? Graphite? I think I was going to do that with graphite. Bad driver with the, the paver and stuff? Yes. Well, like any any game that is worth a damn, right? You're gonna wind up investing time in it. I mean, I've invested a lot of time in Valheim. I've I've invested a lot of time in in other games. You know, just as long as a game gets you, you know, if it's something that you're totally interested in, sure, you're gonna wind up putting many hours. And that's that's perfect because that's just a testament. You know, it's a good return on investment, right? What I hate is spending $60 on a game and having it turn out to be a major turd. And now granted, I did that for No Man's Sky. I was pissed. I was pissed at the No Man's Sky launch. Pissed. $70. I even think I bought like their deluxe edition, so it was more than $70. And I was pissed. EA can guarantee that. Love watching... I love watching your lives while I play when my friends aren't online. I really like playing open world games alone. Yeah, I'm kind of a, a solo guy too. I, I, you know, honestly, I would say that that was true before I started this channel. I think since starting this channel, I've been playing uh, a good amount of games as uh, multiplayer, and I'm I'm enjoying it. I only have one helium here. How stupid is that? It's not well. It's not really that stupid because I have no power here. Um, I really should rethink that. We should have more helium here. This real this planet is really the only planet that needs RTGs nowadays. All the other planets don't need RTGs, but this one this one does. Let's turn this on and at least I can get a handful, right? This will give me what, four or five? It'll give me five when it's done. It's gonna suck up all the power, but so be it. 
So I have a little bit of helium here. Let's go drop this stuff off at... Yeah, let's go to Glacio and drop this stuff off. Multiplayer is all fun in games until you try to connect up a large solar panel. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> My first visit to Aatrox is to get five helium. My second visit comes five RTGs. Yeah, I know. I, I haven't I haven't even unlocked it yet. I have it's one of those things I haven't even unlocked. Thank you for following Missy Missy Courtney. Miss Courtney? No, I totally get it. I, I totally get it. I need to unlock that and I need to I need, I need to get some RTGs there. That's the only place RTGs are good now. I have the large wind and the large solar. Forget about it. Extra large wind, extra large solar. Forget about it. Those are the things you take to planets now that have wind and solar power. Uh, did I miss it? It's over here, right? I think it's over here. There it is. I have a large uh, silo be full of RTGs on every planet. Because I hate not having, not having enough power. I agree, but man, the with the power change that they made, RTGs are not it anymore. All right, what do I really need on here? Let's take... I have no idea where... Where the, um... Sorry, I'm, I'm moving stuff and I'm not, not... My brain stopped working. Where any of the graphite is located. I, I thought I saw some off in the distance by the ammonium. I thought I did. And I really want to... Let's take some more tethers with me. I have some laying around, I thought. Is there any on the ground? I thought I had a bunch on the ground. Oh, maybe I put them on that storage. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take this too. I like being able to have a, a tether line out there just in case I'm walking out there. Also, as direction, so I know where I'm going. You would love to make Kalidor your main? I would too, but still the sticky terrain problem. I'm... I'm really bummed that they've, they've never solved for the sticky terrain. The graphite mirage. It was there, I swear it was. I don't have the drill on this, so it's a little bit difficult. To kind of navigate around, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. If I have to get out, I'll get out. Okay, it wasn't here. It definitely was by the ammonium. I think it was by the ammonium. Let's go back and look. The ammonium's over on this side. Oh, who's driving the other? Josh was driving the <laughs> Josh was driving the other day. <laughs> he was actually getting through places I didn't think you could get through. I was impressed. I was impressed with the driving skills of the Joshness. You should remember when the medium generator was OP? Yeah. That's hematite. Sticky terrain? Yes, when you walk and you get stuck momentarily. There's like a brief, a brief stickage. That's the sticky terrain. Ah, uh, there it is. I thought I saw some yonder way. It probably is not huge. Let me just see if there's... 
Another patch anywhere. I mean, that's okay for what it is. And I'm okay with just doing that little bit. Yeah, Sticky Train's a pain in the butt. Because... Uh, you just get tired of it after a while. I, I definitely get tired of it after a while. I have a Kalidor base. Spent a lot of time building up my Kalidor base. And the main reason I don't want to go back to it is because of the Sticky Train. Uh, where was that again? Where was that? <laughs> I got lost. Come on. How do you get lost? We only had to make a right turn or something. Did I totally screw the pooch on this? It's over here, right? Alright, now I'm feeling kind of dumb. Maybe it wasn't on this side. Maybe it was on the other side. Let's go back over to where the... ammonium was. Now where was that at? Okay, lost. Dumb bug that you're always victim to is di dying from a five foot fall. Yeah, that's that's another one. Though so they've gotten pretty good at that one, at fixing that one. There it is. That's it right there. Because the ammonium is over here. That's why you use a beacon at every extractor. Yeah, I should I should do that. I should do that, but most of the times I don't. Most of the times it's just too lazy. <laughs> Search and rescue. We need a GPS on rovers, yes. This is it. Let me just verify that that is indeed it. Let me just fix this out really quick here. Let's ramp this down. Flame chat for those beacons? I know. You guys are just beacon people. I don't know what to say, you know? Uh, let me take my tethers with me. Let's go tether out to it. I just like a simple tether line. So I don't- I can talk. And I can look, you know? I don't have to worry about... Trying to find a beacon in the sky. I could just chat with you lovely people. Did I put a tether out here? I did. See, nothing so thrilling as a bunch of tethers on the ground. Uh-oh, I missed that one, though. Alright, good. 
I don't think that's going to be a lot, but I think it's going to be enough for what I need. At least I'll be getting some. I'm the only one that always has... Always not have Svalorain. <laughs> I don't ever have that stuff either. Uh, this this game, I'm... I'm putting down an extractor for each resource. Just so I can have it, right? Just so it's available to me. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. I'll get some out of that. I'll be very happy with that. Did I not bring the storage? Oh, you idiot. You idiot. Come on, I thought we made... <laughs> oh, no. Tay, what's going on? No, I thought we brought it. Say it isn't so. Oh, that is so dumb. Oh, man. I, you know what? I should just start drinking now. Let's just get it over with. It'll probably improve my game. <laughs> I thought I thought I made that stupid thing. Uh... All right, I'm going. I'm going. Having more nanocarbon than sphalerite is just a pain. <laughs> Blame chat for not checking your loadout. <laughs> oh, just looking for intel from a person that has more XP than me, despite having over one month. <laughs> Holler out to Rita, I guess. <laughs> I didn't have a Rita. <laughs> I need her. It's too cold, actually. It's kind of chilly today. A little too cold for Rita, but I think I'm going to go make myself a mudslide or something. Just on the rocks. Damn it. I can't believe I, I came this way. All the way over here. I didn't bring those stinky things with me. Yeah. Uh, DBA must have been here. It's DBA's fault right there. I swear. Let's fill that in. Let's fill in DBA's nasty hole right there. Okay, there it is. I'll never fall on that one again. <laughs> ah, DBA. <laughs> Tried to get me with your old... Okay, good. All right, let's uh, let's go back. Take that with us. Did I put it down by any chance? No. See, that'd be too smart. All right, let's go. Let's go. Eight launches. Let's run over quick to eight trucks. See how much I've got. Are you sure DBA dug out that hole? He was on the save one time. I'm sure it was him. I feel like that has his had his name on it. <laughs> He's probably listening. <laughs> Damn it. Easy to blame him if he can't defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, it's 
stop talking about him. <laughs> nothing here. Nothing to see here, sir. Nothing to see here. <laughs> All right, we got one. We got another one. How's my backpack full? With this garbage? Didn't I set this up for... I guess I didn't. Okay. Let's get a little helium here. Okay. Launch to another planet. <laughs> I want to thank all of you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out, watching a little Ashenir. I haven't played Ashenir on a live stream outside of the limited limited time events in a long time. And it's fun to get back into it. Four launches. We need to make fuel before we leave. And we need a bunch of medium canisters. We were in the process of making the large canister. I don't even know if I really want the large canister. To be honest with you, I don't know if I want it. Do a barrel roll? <laughs> That'd be cool, right? I don't even know if I want large canister. Let's take that with us. And... Let's make a, a few medium canisters just to have laying around. Glass and plastic. Just to have them around. Uh, and let's put in our helium for the nanocarbon alloy. I'll just make a nanocarbon. You've never watched this game? You've only heard it from the channel? <laughs> Zavar's here. <laughs> TV away for you, all this live old slanderous content. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let me just put the nano garb in here. We probably could make another one. Let's make one more. So I can make the graphene. Oops. I'm going to have to make fuel anyways. So let's make a little fuel. Make some hydrazine. Hydrogen. Do I have hydrogen laying around? No, of course not. Why would I have something like that laying around? Okay, need a little hydrogen gone. Still need to do the farm event and finish up the AFBBI. Yeah, you know what? It's, um... That's gonna take you guys a while. I mean, even though you're at 50 million right now, that's still a long way from a billion. <laughs> it's a long way from a billion, my friend. The sturdy squash are, are uh, fantastic for fast research. Ah, you must not be a follower of my channel, sir. We are well aware of this. There's currently an initiative going on right now from some of the crew members. They're trying to get to one billion bytes by using some of those <laughs> fast research. They got it. Up, they got it to what, twenty thousand per minute per second? That was the last screenshot I saw. Twenty thousand per second or minute, whatever it is. What is it? Minute? Minute. Twenty thousand per minute. All right, let's get a little of this made up, and we'll do one more for the graphene. You finally got your giddy-up emote? Nice. <laughs> nice. 
Do one more for the graphene. We're gonna need the titanium alloy, which is steel, and I didn't bring back any. Oh, I, I did trade for some. Let me have one process this down. Some hematite. Okay, let's make a little bit of graphene. And we're gonna need, uh, what was it again? Rubber and glass, plastic and glass. Plastic and glass, let me spin up some quartz. Quartz, see quartz. Make a steel really quick. Oh, I need a carbon. Another carbon laying around. There we go. Somebody was telling me I needed to clean up my base. If I do that, I'm gonna not gonna know where anything is. I'm just gonna be so lost. I'm running around looking for that stuff. And titanium alloy. Need a piece of titanium. And some nitrogen. I have no more nitrogen. No more nitrogen. Spin up on nitrogen really fast. Get these quartz processed. And we have to work on the plastic too. Let's uh let's put the fuel on the ship before I forget about it. Okay. There's that. We'll spin up. I'll spin up four of these. Let's see what plastics, organic and compound. Is that what plastic is? Compound carbon? Compound carbon. I'm gonna need some more carbon. I think I only have like a, a piece or two left. Yeah, two. I'm gonna need a couple more. And I'm gonna need some compound. Spin up some carbon. Okay, there's two alloys. Let's get some plastic. Some compound. Oh, oh can I cancel? No, stop. They really need a stop button on that. I mean, I understand why they can't do it. Should have looked. It's plastic, right? Yep. I need four of those trickies.
Need a cancel button on everything? Yeah. Most annoying material to get, excluding nanocarbon. Ugh. Probably graphene. Oh, that's personal preference though, right? For some people, it'd be like, eh, no, nah, I think it's this. Okay, medium resource canister is being built. Lithium? Oh, I didn't think lithium was all that hard. I mean, lithium you can, you know, easily go get. And they give you two nice little locations for it. Sphalerite? It's all in the caves here. I think the Ashenir concept could be taken further like the same gameplay style, but completely different look, different materials and stuff. As in second, and I said Ashenir would be cool. It would make the... It would be fan mate, huh? The last part I don't get. Stuff as an Ashen or two would be cool, even if it were fan. Oh, even if it were fan mate. I, you know, I would, I would hope that if they do an Ashen or two, that they address some of the issues that people are asking for that they've said emphatically no on, like water, some sort of fluid system, um, and then also additional solar systems on top of that. Excuse me, on top of that, um, you know, I, I don't know. I guess the biggest thing is people want is kind of like a story. Even though it's sandbox, and I say sandbox everywhere, and they even say in the description, look, you got to go create your own content. It's, it's purely driven by your creativity. Um, I think people still really desire to have some sort of story. Something to lead them along. I think people are missing that. We had somebody in our group uh, try to pick up and play Ashenir, and she stopped playing because she just didn't... Her response was, I, I just didn't know what to do. And... You know, and then the, the follow-up to that was it. she didn't understand the purpose behind it. You know, whatever. So it, it, it is kind of lacking some sort of purpose. So for those people that are new to the game and can't really get into just something that's open like this, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit tough. It is very similar to Minecraft in that sense. And why Minecraft is so much better, I think maybe because of the modding, the ability to be able to do more to be able to build more. And even with even with Minecraft, hey, look, even with Minecraft, people pitched a fit until they got their little story. And it's not even a it's not even a story. The Minecraft thing isn't in a story, but there is kind of this end game kind of concept. Go down into the and beat the Ender Dragon, right? That's the end game deal. Okay, I have four. I got some fuel. Do we need to get anything else? We have... Uh, four of the best ones. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's all we need. I think that's all we need. And we have a secondary canister. Well, do we need one more canister? We need one more. No, we have it. We have it there. We have it there. Okay, let's go back and put that on. Was there anything else I was going to take the glacier with me? I am going to need some hematite here, though. So I need to make sure I bring hematite back with me. I have plenty of argon here. We are going to have to set up our gas stations, for sure. 
Maybe a warm coat. <laughs> Ark, I never got into Ark. I, I never got into Ark. I tried for a little bit. You know, some survival games that just they don't resonate with me. Some some do. Others can never really get into them that much. I like Seven Days to Die. I, I like the survival aspect of it. I don't necessarily care for the rest of the gameplay, like having to fight off a horde every seven days. That to me is a little too much. I get I get tired of that really fast. I get tired of losing my stuff really fast. But going in and searching for that initial... You know, having to go into buildings and wipe out the existing zombies in there and... You know, hopefully you don't get killed off by a wave of them. That's pretty fun and exciting, but... Not the whole get wiped out every seven days kind of thing. They should add large gas storage. Well, they do have the the, the medium-sized gas storage. Why they didn't decide to do a large one, I don't know. Right? I, I agree with you. Why stop at a medium one? Why not just go do a large one on top of that? Maybe they thought it would be too much. I mean, really, honestly, what do you really need all that gas for? Half the time, I don't even have use for the resources that are here to begin with. To be honest with you. Like setting up extractors? I will probably never use more than maybe two containers of each resource. Oh, is this totally filled? Oh, you're coming back with me. You's are coming back with me. No, you big jerkosaurus. Uh. Thank you. You've been looking for the large soil canister? They have one. They have one. Is it called the medium soil canister? I think it is called the medium soil. That's a lot of that's a lot of soil though. Let's bring back the hematite with us. Okay. Ammonium, hematite, graphite, and uh, the uh, laterite. And I already have a full container processed laterite, so I don't need any more here. I do want to go back and set up some sphalerite. I probably should set up an extractor for the lithium. Let's take this back with us. Actually, we don't need this. This is going to stay with the, the vehicle. Right here. And let's take the bad boy back with us. Okay, good. We're good. I don't know why my suit flipped back over. Because I thought I had set it up for... My leaf suit. Weird. For people like me who have mega bases, yes, I, I totally get it. Yep.
They wanted to try to limit the size of a hydrazine explosion? I, I don't know if they did or they didn't. I mean, why would you? That's that's just good fun. Why would you want to end somebody's fun like that? <laughs> if you want to destroy a planet, hey, more power to you. Go destroy that planet. All right, brought back these two bad boys. I need an extra one for processing. Quartz would be good. Let's set up an extractor for quartz here. Uh, rubber, tungsten, carbide, steel, exochip. I think I have enough, enough exochips. Yeah, one. Perfect. I'm going to have to go on a mission to look for some more. Uh, tungsten carbide. There's the tungsten. And we made carbon. Let's get the tungsten carbide. Uh, let's get a steel made. And what was the last thing? Rubber. Jason, what's going on, man? Organic and resin. <laughs> I got rid of all my organic. <laughs> Where is this? Come on. Really? I can't jump over this? Thank you. Whoa. Almost fell into that hole. I can put an extractor right here. This would be really good for compound. Uh, no. I don't want to do that there. I don't want to blow that up. Uh, don't want to get that. That's the Coldranger. I use this save for uh, doing the limited event. So it's got a little bit of residuals in there. What would I say? Good amount of Astronium Piss? <laughs> well, now that you can trade for stuff... I forgot. What can you trade for it? I did a video on it, but I totally forgot. What What is... um? Oh, Exochips, Packagers, Dynamite, Hydrazine. Yeah, that would be worth it. Some quick spin up some hydrazine really fast. So it's one of those of like, why even bother? Right? With hydrazine now. No, no, no. What are you doing, you fool? You needed that. Looks at ex exochip and looks at dynamite. <laughs> yes, I have a plenty of dynamite laying around. Oh, I didn't make the steel. Dang it. Cabin. Cabin. Probably just a can canister of 400. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't do any more than that. 
It doesn't really have that much value right now. Look at them in the trade platform, but I don't I don't have any um Astronium to trade for it. Let's see. I need some power here. I set up another wind turbine. I like this wind turbine because it produces ten. And the extractor uses eight. So you get that two extra glass, ceramic, aluminum alloy. I don't th I think I have copper. I thought I saw one copper laying around. Yeah, aluminum alloy. Glass and ceramic. Glass, not gonna be too much of a problem. Oh, we used it all up. Didn't I just say I want quartz? We, we need to do, we need to do quartz. Let's go get some soil so I can build some things. Go do that really fast. I'm gonna have to extend out my my radius here. My working area. I'm I'm run, I'm running out of closed soil. I really should just get the drill and start swish cheesing this, but maybe I should do that next. Just so I have a ton of soil on me. Well, we can do that. Let's unlock the drill. We couldn't can get the paver. I mean, if we're gonna do this drill, might as well do drill strength three, right? I mean, what's the point of doing anything else? Um, paver. Yeah, let's get the paver just in case we cut through something that's bad. And I believe I already have the soil canister unlocked. Let's see. Uh, medium gas. Fluids. Where was soil at? Oh, soil. Yep. I have it unlocked. Uh, that'll, that'll save time in the future. Getting... How often do I stream? Um, it's on Discord, but typically Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I only stream for like a couple hours. Though, this last week, my schedule was a little bit wacky because of um, Valheim coming out with their update. So I, I wound up doing a lot more time than I normally would. Boulder, thanks for the follow. All right, let's just go, let's just gather quantities of four. The quartz, I'm going to need two, a full container for that. And then, what do I get? I get six ceramic for a full. Okay, I'll put the trade platform here. Let's spin up a... Do I have resin here anymore? No, my resin's gone. I only want to do four resin, so I don't want to jump all the soil can canisters on there because it's just going to autofill. 
So we needed uh, aluminum alloy. Didn't we just make the aluminum alloy? We did. We bring the aluminum alloy over there. And then we need a glass and ceramic. So let's pop off a glass. Let's get the ceramic done. Yeah, clay will give me six for a full. So let's do that as well. Scorpino's MT, thanks for the follow. Let's get the clay up. And we'll get the clay process really fast. And then we want resin. So as soon as this is done, let me just get four resin and I'll put the rest of this soil on there. And I'll take this, let's take all this stuff off, just store it. I am gonna process all this clay though. lose your mods way too often. I tend to forget where mine are put. I, I keep some on me, but then the other ones I put on a storage somewhere and I, I've forgotten them many a times. Uh, I need that ceramic. All right, let's spin up the resin really fast. Looks like Silva. Yup, went back there. That's my main base. If you want a glacio, you have to stop being late, sir. By an hour and a half. You know? <laughs> What's going on, Golden? Alright, let's fire this up. I'm gonna do the same loadout. I'm gonna do an A, small A. We are gonna need a medium canister. But let's do the small A. Let's do the medium A. Damn it, that scared me. <laughs> Mr. Glacio. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me, dude. Uh, my battery. Did I take all the batteries with me? I did. I'm going to have to spin up a battery. That means I'm going to need a little sphalerite. Do I have any sphalerite? I do. Good. I have some zinc process already. Let's get a medium battery. Good, that's the package, right? That is the package. That's what I've been using. Oh no, it's not the package. Where's the medium storage canister? Need a medium storage canister. Medium resource canister. Glass and a plastic. Glass. Plastic, uh, a little compound, a little carbon, right? Compound, carbon, carbon. Yeah, 
And let's get the drill stuff done. Let's get the paver of the drill and a canister done. Or maybe two canisters. And let's, uh... Let's tunnel down. I have a, a hand-drilled hole. Which I can follow. Thanks so much for the timer setup. I was scratching my head for ages. Totally missed the button repeater. Rolls eyes. No problem, bro. No problem, bruh. I was going to go back and do that video tomorrow. I, was, I meant to do it today. A lot of people have been asking how do I set up a little farm. The little automated farm with the new repeater. And so I was just going to knock out just something very basic and simple. Kind of what we did on the stream. Though you really don't need the, the count. I did the count so it wouldn't go so fast, but you could set it up to go fast. It doesn't really bother anything. Uh, drill mod. Gonna need a diamond, right? Titanium alloy and a diamond. Titanium. Titanium alloy and a diamond. Oh, God. It's uh, all graphene, right? Yep. Okay. Let's see, hydrogen. Only time you need to watch is after a while when they've spawned the purple, yeah. The seeds will sit on top and not spawn out, yeah. You need to have an auto arm there grabbing that, taking that off. Uh, can I fill up this? No, I'm not gonna be able to fill it up again. Uh, I could trade for it. Does the biofuel explode? Good question. I don't think I've ever tried it. And honestly, Mr. Gracio, I, I don't even... I don't even think I saw the fact that it, it uh, doesn't turn off. What am I going to need for the canister? For the, the uh, soil canisters? Glass and plastic.
Let's do one more. Dang it. The Real Hustle 21, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Let's get this graphene done. Need three of these. Keebler, this isn't Glacio. It's because you tuned in too late. <laughs> what do you want me to do, man? You guys are tuning in too late. It was Glacio. How many people were here in the beginning and saw that it was Glacio? Titanium alloy, one diamond. Uh, titanium alloy. Let's get the diamond done. Still prefer Tundra and a four-wheel drive for sure. You also recommend a later start. <laughs> uh, let's get the titanium alloy done. Tried with a single squash fuel big boom. Two to three times the hole of dynamite? Really? Get out of here. Okay, we need the paver now. Aluminum alloy and a silicon. Um, yeah, that might have been it for my aluminum alloy. Uh, yep. Dang it. Let's trade for it. I'm giving up all my scrap. I worked hard for that scrap. One for one, huh? Time for some experimentation. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that as well. By the way, when is the AFBBI documentary happening? What is the AFBBI? The Billion Byte Initiative? What, the documentary? I don't know if there's gonna be a documentary. But you guys need to complete it first. I like how old One Last Midnight is and keeps playing games. Do you like how old One might Are you insulting me, sir? 
Games is just a form of entertainment. Some people choose television. Some people choose music. Some people choose whatever. Uh, I happen to choose video games. I said something similar in this uh, one foot in the grave. <laughs> oh, I was a kid as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Uh, aluminum alloy. I like how the youth nowadays think that video games are theirs. Video games aren't theirs. We older community invented video games. Truthfully. Invented your phone games, invented all of that. Somebody, so, it was funny, somebody said in one of the comments, he's all like, oh, I like how you old guys are like trying to um, uh, hijack our culture. I said, hijack your culture. I said, what did you do to contribute to the video game revolution other than purchase it? I said, this culture is not your culture. Why don't you go find something for your generation because this was all created in our generation. Oh, do I have any methane on me? I can't get methane here, right? Can we get methane here? No. Uh, do we have any methane? Uh, we don't have any methane. Dang it. Uh, methane? Sulfur. Oh, I gotta go get methane. Is that methane? Helium. No! <laughs> ah, dang it. I can't make the paver. Start playing Pong, the original game? Yeah, I, I got the first, what? Before Atari and all that stuff came out, I had it in a television. You guys remember any of that? That's old school. That was before the Ataris came out. And I need some quartz. Some quartz. The power of the quartz. Anyways, I just found that kid kind of funny. So I, I type pretty much that back. And, uh... His response was like, whatever. I'm <laughs> just like, what? I mean, if you're gonna try to dog me, at least be historical, you know? Be correct on your history. Maybe go back to school, finish school so you know what you're talking about? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like he invented air. <laughs> I know. It's like, why are you old guys breathing? This is our air. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's some good stuff right there. <laughs> Gus heard what's going on, bud. I use flat mode to dig more out of the ground. Oh, you mean you're talking about um, the leveling? I like I like digging the ceiling and the walls out before I get to the ground. 
you know, it's for me, it's like being able to transition from one height to the other height better. But, sure. Do whatever it is you like to do, sir. I need quartz. And we need to make a quick trip. I agree that the stalactites and the trees and rocks, anything that falls should have the ability to do damage to you. I agree with that. I proposed that long time ago. Excited for the space now? I am too. I kind of questioned Joe about the plushie. And, uh, you know, I got a kind of obscure answer to it, but I, I felt that the answer was positive, that there might possibly be a plushie coming out. Uh, that's mine. I own that if it's coming out. All tree variants should be plantable. I'll talk about that because I asked that question during creative. Why wouldn't they allow us to do that? The way that they did their resources is uh, kind of different. It's it's not really an individual object. It's more of a texture. So when they create that ground, they're just putting it there. So you can't really like just go back and paint. Which is, it's too bad. That's too bad. I think you should be allowed to just go and paint whatever, you know? But, oh well. Alright, we're sucking for power here now. Sucking the cheese here. You know, I did, I, I, what is this, 20 units? Right, I mean, nano, RTGs don't really cut it nowadays. I mean, RTG, you're going to need, what, four of them? Five of them? Five RTGs just to run one atmospheric condenser. I could spin up another... Generator. So let's do that really fast. And we can get a ton of organic here. The tundra? The old tundra? <laughs> you don't want to ride with me on tundra. <laughs> I like the old... I, I really like the old landscape. I know it had problems. I know, I know. Every time we talk to Joe about this, they keep going back to... It was, you know, there's some fundamental problems with it, and... We had to get rid of it, and... I just, I liked the old size. I'm not saying that the new landscape is bad, but I miss the dinosaur bones on, what was that, Arid? I'll say it again, I miss the storms. For those of you guys that hate the storms, I, I think that they should, be, that should be optional gameplay. It should be something that I can turn on and off. If I want storms, I get storms. Somebody doesn't want storms, they can easily just flip them off. You scared of storms? Okay, fine. Go be scared on your own time. Don't be scared on my time. Spiky balls. But just the size of... I mean, the caves sucked. In the old system, I agree. The caves were not really anything to look at. They, they weren't spectacular. The caves in Terrain 2.0 are amazing. They, they did a great job on the cave system. But shrinking the planet... And getting rid of the storms and stuff? Yeah, no. Nah. No. Nah. The 
Let me just get enough power here to... For those of you guys that are, haven't really watched this series and are wondering where all of my bites are coming from, early days, on the, t on the surface of all the planets, I set up automated research chambers next to, you know, the research samples that are plant-related. And I got, I got lucky. On some of the planets, there were some rock-related ones. But all of my bites that are coming in have been from those particular automated research deals. No other research has happened. So just from those little dinky research items, I've, I've gotten almost everything that I need unlocked. Which is pretty amazing. All right, we're out. Tad bigger, bigger than the older planets? Yeah, that would be sweet. I like the idea of being lost. And now that they have the compass, to really give the compass uh, some value, right? Bring back experimental clouds? Word. I loved the experimental clouds. And that was a toggle item, but for some reason, they found out that regardless, that code would run. And uh, it caused them issues in with Xbox. Okay, so I came back thinking I grabbed the entire canister, uh, the entire storage, and I just grabbed one thing off of the storage. Damn it! I'm tired of my brain not functioning correctly. You love getting lost now. There is right. <laughs> there is no getting lost. Crap. Grab a tractor and use a proximity repeater now. I I know. I You know the problem that I'm having with uh, I even said I even asked Gina. I said is the proximity repeater on a vehicle something you re guys really want to do? And they're all like, "Yeah, we talked about it and that we we want to keep it in." And I'm like, "Man, you guys just killed the bite, the whole bite economy." So it's like, it's like, why? Why, why, why are you bothering doing that? I, I don't understand. Con continue to keep, like, reducing the game down even lower and lower to, to be super easy. I, I don't know. The Aurora is for any limited time event. They established that with the first limited time event. It's just to tell you what planets that the event items are located on. Problems with the cloud on Xbox? Drop Xbox. <laughs> I, I, I know, right? I know, but I've talked to Joe about that. He, he said that, you know, Microsoft really helped him out in the beginning. That they felt that Ashenir would not have been created if Microsoft didn't give them what they needed at some crucial time in their development. Probably before you know, pre-alpha came out. They probably needed some money to to really help them out. You know, I'll be honest with you. I, I go back to the original... The original beta that we didn't really get to see. There's videos of it out there. But go back to some of that original stuff where he's walking, the Ashenir's walking, and he's really having to fight the force of the wind and things are flying off of uh, wherever, like like your ship pieces are flying off. There's one scene where he's walking through a storm and like you can see pieces of his ship getting ripped off. I thought that was sweet. I was like, we need storms like that. Did I finish the Exo Farm? I did. I did three hours with eight people on a live stream. We, you know, could have gone faster, but we decided to kind of 
Everything was automated. Took our time with it. And we had fun. It was good. This is good days. Okay, paver done. Trying to make an automated farm with your friend? Yeah, it's not that hard. Um, tomorrow I'll probably be coming out with a video just to kind of show it off. A lot of people have asked me for it. It's really not that difficult, but I'd be happy to show people who haven't done it before or don't understand. We had we had somebody on, Mini Queenie was on. She'd never done automation before, and I walked her through it. That was her first automation piece that she'd done. I thought that was pretty cool. It was cool watching somebody else, walking somebody through some automation and stuff. Glass and plastic. Okay, glass. We have plenty of glass. Let's just make two of these. And I thought we made some plastic somewhere before we left. Man, I swear that we did. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe that was in another life. Weird. Uh, where's all that carbon I just made? Did I use it all up? There's one. There's two. I swear I made plastic. Whatever. First time you play with it as well? Sweet. What is the new Ashener How to Play series coming out? Uh, I haven't started working on it, but I was gonna... I was thinking about doing it in November. Because I think, if I understand Joe correctly, the, the December event is just also gonna be something very similar in size and scope to uh, the fall event. Not realizing that the automation wire segments don't actually activate things really got me stuck in the beginning. My friend, I just got to the ending, but feel like we were just planet hopping at the end since not much is really needed. What's the motivation to do more? I have an issue. I have this issue in open-ended games. Uh, yeah, right. I, I mean, I get it. Once you finish the story, what's the point in doing more? I don't know. You know, I I look at it from the creative side. It's like, what what can I build? Can I, I sculpt something? Can I, you know, make the world's largest automation? Can I, you know, so so for me, that's the motivation to do more. It's, it's just to do those little things or challenge yourself with, you know, some sort of challenge like um, go without oxygen. Don't don't put down any tethers. No tethers whatsoever. Zero. Zero tetherinos or something along those lines, right? What am I going to do for power on this thing? Probably just wind, right? Let me do another silo. Hmm. 
Let me grab a titanium from here. Do another silo. I'll put the, the empty silo on the on the vehicle. Make an RTG? Yeah. I think that automation is the main thing, right? We're both programmers, so it's so appealing. There's some pretty impressive pieces of automation out there. Some people have gone beyond beyond. There's also music in the game too. If you haven't experienced that yet, make yourself a little Muzak machine. Be better on the back, probably be better on the back. Wind turbines work on the back? They work on the back, right? Let's take three of these guys. Okay. All right, let's start bringing this stuff down. We have the... Let's move this guy over to be easier. This is going to be for zinc, so we're going we're gonna to get our sphalerite set up here. But we decided to do a paver. And a drill. To kind of also help with fuel, or not fuel, but with soil. So why don't we get those guys out. Okay, let's get our soil canisters out. I'm only gonna bring, be able to bring one on this first drive down. Well, I could take this. And do this. We'll go like that, like this, uh, we'll go like this, these guys we can hold on the back, and this other one's just going to have to wait. I mean, I could get run, rid of one of the soil canisters, but why? I can just run back up here and get this. Alright, let's, let's go. I have a tendency to put my stuff really close to the base. This is really going to pooch my tether line, though. Am I going to fit? I'm going to have to widen it out first. I still want this angle of attack, though. So, matter of fact, I almost feel like I want to do that by hand, but... Okay, whatever. Here. Alright, let's go back and fix my tethers really quick. Okay, let me see here. Let me read this thing. Remember when the goal was to drive a truck and not fall through the planet? Yeah, right. <laughs> or automating RTG crafting, right. Uh, the game doesn't have to be like a child. When you're bored with it, you can just stop playing. Sure. I played hundreds of games. I won't play again. Uh...
There's no existential crisis. Sure. I mean, if you don't want to play it anymore, don't play it anymore. Margarita time, 85 degrees, and it's almost 8 p.m. <laughs> I guess it's just like the game. Oh, oh, I just, it's just that we like the game a lot. So finding stuff to do is nice. The game has been our chat time during COVID. At worst, we just jump to a new game at some point. Yeah. You know, I, I, I agree. I, we've had long discussions over and over again about the amount of content in Astroneer. I have had some conversations with the development team and I, I honestly don't know what their goals are. And I don't think they're willing to share their goals either. Who, who knows? This is their game. This is what it is. They, you know, Joe did allude to that there's going to be something exciting coming in Q2. He has talked uh, recently about, you know, their... Their goal is to make sure that there's more things to do on each planet coming in the future. But that's future, right? So maybe Ashenir is just one of those things you just go back. If you like it so much, you just go back and revisit it every once in a while and see if it's, you know, done something for you. You know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I have a group of guys, you guys won't believe this, but there's a, a group of people in my community that the only game that they play is Astroneer. They, they just, it's just something that they enjoy so much. It's just, they don't want to have to worry about zombies. They don't want to have to worry about, you know, anything. And Astroneer kind of gives that to them. You don't really have to worry about oxygen after a period of time in this game either it's kind of taken care of for you you know okay where was there a good amount of spell right this was a huge compound I, I should have stuck a thumper on that there's laterite there. I think my spellerite was on the second level. Mighty Wolf, what's up, bud? Where's the DBA permit? I know, I need to get him in here so he'd do this much better than I would. There's something down here. If I remember correctly, yes. The problem is, is this is married with quartz. Hey, didn't I put one down here already? Wait a minute. My brain is starting to work. Didn't I attach one down here? No, I didn't. But this would be a great place for one. Uh, yeah. Let's fix all this up. And there's another patch over there. Playing Astroneer since uh, 2014, same. I, I got it the day that it came out in pre-alpha. I haven't stopped playing. I mean, I take breaks from it. Don't don't get me wrong, I'm not an everyday player. But I, t I take breaks from it. Uh, let's see here.
I have to go back and fix that tether line. Let's flatten this out. This is all nice and flat. I'll just widen this out myself so I can turn around here. That worked. We're gonna need to fix the tether line. The rest of this I can straighten out, or I can just bridge the gap from here. Let me go back and get, I'm gonna need some more tethers. I don't have any compound on me. And let me just fix this really fast. I mean, boost and wide mod, forget about it. I didn't get on the right angle with the paver, but it's okay. That's that's a doable. I would like to see some base building too. That that's one of the things I really beat up the developers a little bit on. I got into this focus group when they released um, uh, the compass around the time they released the compass. And we talked to several of the developers. And it's it's like, you know, this is around the same time that, that Valheim was coming out, just came out, something around those lines, right? And it's like, here's another game that some survival mechanics doesn't necessarily have an enormous amount of content. I don't include chopping down trees and getting stones and stuff like that part of, you know, the whole content. Um, and their biggest thing is, th their biggest attraction is the building for people who like building stuff. As a matter of fact, if you go on YouTube and you just look at the amount of building videos there are, that should be a good indicator of where a lot of people's focus is for Valheim. It's just, it's just the building. And so it's like if they would add... Some base building stuff, man, I, I think that you can have, you can get a lot more life out of Astroneer. CB, you're a big fan? Big fan of Astroneer? It's fun, man. I still enjoy Astroneer. I still, I still have a good time with Astroneer. I'm I'm not hating Astroneer. <laughs> of you and Astroneer. Thanks, dude. That's very kind. That's very kind. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna put it right over here. Right chair, yeah. right in this. Okay, well, that's gonna be good, man. I'm gonna have a nice little Svelarite mine. You know, these are things I don't do a lot. I, I don't use resources enough to like justify setting up all these mines, but I, I'm just doing it for this playthrough. There's a lot of things that I haven't sat down and done. I, I mean, not to the extent of, like, some people. Like, put a, an extractor on every resource. I, I haven't done that. Or do an automated research thing on, on every every planet. I've done that now. But there's some things that I, I definitely want to do. This is That's what this, this particular live stream series is kind of all about. It's, it's kind of doing the things that I really haven't done and messed around with. But then again, also listening to other people's comments, because 
some people will know, hey man, this is better to do this this way or better to do that that way. And, you know, I appreciate those kind of comments. Add a social element to visit a base, uh, friend's base too. Yeah, I like that as well. Custer, what am I doing? Uh, setting up an extractor down here. Can we all agree that the new planet thing is super OP? What new planet thing? Plant thing. New plant thing is super OP. Yeah, it's a little too OP. I had a conversation with Gina about it. They wanted to keep it in. They wanted to keep it in. The plant itself, I think, is like the squash seeds and stuff. I think that's going away. It is going to be like the October event, the Boo event, where you can keep some seeds, but... Oh, I'm stuck here. Come on, man. Get out of this garbage. I don't want to have to dig out of this because I'll, I'll wind up gathering all these resources. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, but something that they wanted to do. Anyways, if you had seeds from, like, the Boo event, and you planted them down, they would grow new seeds. But you have to remember that the seeds do go away. Not only do they go away on the ground, but they also go away in your inventory. So if they get rid of the squashes and you mess up, you know, you could technically be without seeds and you wouldn't have any squash plants. Though, Ron was saying that the squash plant stayed on his save file. So technically he has a save file with squash plants still in existence from the Boo event. And I don't remember if I did or I didn't. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be a mixture. It was not there for the boo. They went away in the boo event, right? Uh, I have a feeling that this is going to give me a mixture. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, I left the other platform up there, didn't I? I'm gonna go run up and get it really fast. All right, that'll work. This will work. Let me go get the other platform. We had them in the boo event. We're being used for crafting type. Yeah, but did they stay though? That's the question. Use a hoverboard if I have one. I haven't unlocked that yet. Not in this save. There's a lot of things to do still in this save. <laughs> got a ton of stuff to do. You know, and to, and to speak to that, to, to their credit, look. If you were to start over again like I'm doing and, like, do everything, there's there's a lot of content in here now. If you start getting into the mission stuff and and all of that, there's a good amount of content in there.
Man, I hope we see wind power down here, because otherwise this is going to suck. I want to see what I'm getting. Hopefully I'm only getting Svalorite. You can get wind power from the cave. What does the extractor do? The extractor extracts from the resource, but at ten times the amount of what it would normally be. Ah, uh, compound. Put it down as Valorite to get resin? Yeah. If they're mixed, if it's a mixed resource? Yeah, for sure. No, see, it started picking up compound again. I guess I could just let it suck all the compound out of there and then I'll start getting Valorite. All right, CB, take it easy, man. All right, I'm going to let this go. It's doing its thing. Great for not having holes in the ground? For sure. I think I do want to get some soil, though, while I'm at it. I, I brought the vehicle out thinking I was done with it, but then I really want to get some soil. And I don't necessarily want to... Uh, put a big giant hole since I already have a hole in the ground.
This is also another way to, you know, to get a ton of resources. <laughs> I blame CBA. <laughs> it's called love, man. That's called some love. It's the love of my brother. I don't know, I still can't get into the camera though. Camera angle is still wonky as hell. And the response rate seems a little bit slow to me. How's my soil doing? Almost. I'm, I'm eating up a little bit too much, uh, or putting down a little bit too much ground. Full? How do you know when they're full? Does it shoot? Uh, probably shoots fire out of the paver, right? Or something? Shoot fire out of the drill or something? You know, the backpack, you know, because the terrain tool starts shooting off stuff. Alright, Tay, take it easy. Yeah, now they're full. There, put them on the top. Now I know they're full. Oh, I could probably pay attention to the circle, right? That would help me out. Mm. Alright, good. Little soil. Needed a little soil. Nice. Uh, yeah, also the ring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, forget, I keep forgetting about that stinky ring. All right. Got some soil. Now we can do some fun soil stuff. Of course, it's easier to cut through a mountain, and I'll probably do that next time. I, I hate making my world Swiss cheese, though. But that's definitely the way to get a lot of soil. Dig straight down, like an elevator system. I agree. You can kind of get that with the drill. Getting back up is a little tough, but... Unless, of course, you use all your soil up to make a... To make a road back up. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? That's it for me. I'm out. I went a little over tonight. But thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you guys tomorrow for a little bit of Days Gone. Talk about killing zombies. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Getting my frustration out on some zombies. 
See you later, everybody. Bye.